Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Thank you for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga. And the focus of chair yoga today, our whole session, is going to be infusing with energy. Everybody's heard of the January blues this time of year. So we're going to counter that with our practice. We're going to be checking in, establishing a breath and moving from that place of infusing ourselves with the energy that we choose to bring in. And that doesn't mean that you have to do everything that I'm saying. As always, everything I offer is just a suggestion. If something doesn't feel right to you, don't do it. Even when we're focusing on bringing energy in, it doesn't mean that we go beyond our breath or our capabilities or we push ourselves. We're taking it easy, always checking in with how we're feeling and moving from a grounded place where we're paying attention to what it is that we need. Making sure that the chair you're on is stable and that you've got a bit of space around you. And you have everything you could possibly need next to you. Maybe a cup of water where it's not going to be knocked over. And then it will ground down through our feet. Feet a comfortable distance for you. And that'll be different for each and every one of us. You could pick up the toes if you want, fan the toes out wide, or even pick up the balls of the feet. Any kind of movement at all to bring your awareness down to the soles of your feet. And then take the feet down so the soles of the feet are on the earth and lightly allow the toes to settle. Take a big breath in. And on exhale, Soften the gaze, lower the gaze, or even close the eyes. And take all of your awareness down to the support underneath your feet. And you may have shoes on or socks on, it doesn't matter. Get a sense of the earth being underneath you. And then allow any tension through the legs to simply dissolve away. So we really use the support underneath us. Bring your awareness to where your seat meets the chair. And then any adjustments you need to make, maybe you want to shift from side to side or bring the shoulders forward and back and then come to a place that feels even and we're never looking for perfect. We're just paying attention to this moment. So maybe if you find yourself sitting more to one side than the other, you find yourself readjusting. Or if your shoulders are forward of your hips or back of your hips, you may want to bring them a little more balanced over the hips. If you're using the back of the chair for support, fantastic. If you don't feel you need the back of the chair for support, sit forward of it a little, strengthening through the core line of the body. Take what it is that you need. And then from the pelvis down, we get really connected down, just like we did with our feet. So allowing the belly and the lower back to soften as we really allow the chair to take our body weight. That sense of the earth underneath us. And then from there, allowing each of your vertebrae to lift and get a little more space in between them as we lift the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, rolling the shoulders back and down and allowing them to settle away from the ears in your own way, broadening across the collarbones, allowing the muscles of your face to be calm and soft. Take a full breath in when you're ready. Keep the shape. Exhale, let go of tension. Do that a couple of times, a couple of those longer exhales to release any tightness that may have been lingering. And 
And let me go inside and notice how we're feeling today. What's on our mind. Not judging anything, just simply being aware of it. Which means watching it as it comes up, but not adding a story to it. Whatever it is that is on your mind or feelings that are present. With a more of a curious, hmm, interesting, that's what I'm thinking about. And then we notice our body. I'm taking the awareness down to the soles of the feet once again. If you like, drawing your awareness slowly up through the feet and ankles. And as that awareness rises slowly through the body, notice sensations. Notice attachments to different parts of your body with different stories or memories. And we'll take that off all the way up as slowly as you like, all the way through the inside body, outside body, until we get to the crown of the head. And then I invite you to, at this time, scan the body from the crown of the head down to the feet, this time noticing the quiet places, the places that feel easeful, the places that feel comfortable or even strong, all the way down, nice and slow, just so we get that balanced awareness of both what is loud and often familiar to us and the areas that are quieter and often we don't even think about them until something goes wrong or we bump it. All the way down once again to the soles of your feet. And you might even notice now at the soles of your feet as you build some awareness there that there's a kind of humming or a tingling there. A waking up of awareness where our awareness goes, our energy flows. Paying attention to your breath as it comes in and out. Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. And if not, as always, the easiest breath you can find. And we start to slow and deepen the breath. Little bits at a time. Our body likes it when we ease into things. deepening and lengthening the breath in your own way. And when you're ready, starting to smooth that breath out as best as you can, steadying the inhale and smoothing the exhale. And when you're ready, Starting to pay attention to the inhales. Let the exhales take care of themselves nice and smooth. And the inhale is where we take in energy. We take in oxygen or prana. I want you to imagine just for now that you're inhaling and through that inhale, you're distributing through your body energy. And even if today is a day that you feel really tired, then this is a perfect practice. And that steady energy coming in and then allow that energy to settle into your cells, your bones on that exhale. And if there's particular areas in your body that feel very tired, then take the breath there. Inhale, maybe on that left shoulder. Inhale, imagine the breath going right to that left shoulder. Exhaling, allowing that exhale energy to settle into that area. And again, where our attention goes, our energy flows.
So you might notice as you do this, you can actually infuse any area of your body with energy simply by resting your awareness there and the intention of infusing that energy, that area with energy. And I'm not talking about energy of bouncing off the walls. I'm talking about a more subtle inner energy. A vital life force that we can bring to different areas of our body. At any point in our class today, you can come back to this stillness, to this infusing the body with energy. When you're ready, we'll take the hands either side of us, seated mountain pose, palms towards me, we root to rise again. Sending, thing, sending energy all the way down through your arms to your fingertips, drawing the shoulder blades softly towards each other. And the crown of the head, of course, is nudging up towards the sky. And keep this energy flowing, but let go of any tightness, any tension that may have built up. And then we'll turn the palms up. On the inhale, bending from the elbow, we inhale fingertips up towards the Shoulders, exhale, sweep the palms down. And it doesn't matter what angle this is at, whatever feels good to you, everybody's bodies are put together differently, it's gonna look different for each of us. Great place to be right here, and the movements of the arms are mimicking the length of your breath, not mine. Option to start to move from the shoulders. Take it easy, small movements to start with and expand from there should you wish to. Those fingertips may come up overhead, even touching. If you want to, lengthen the back of the neck and lift the gaze on the inhale. Exhale, allow the chin to come down as you gaze down. Eyes, of course, can be soft or closed. On that inhale, lifting through the back of the neck so there's not just compression there. And imagine on that inhale, you are filling up to the tips of your fingertips with energy. On that exhale, the energy settling into your body. Let's take two more, resting if you prefer. Last one here. We're going to settle the hands back down and we're going to leave the left hand there, maybe um, holding onto the chair and the right arm comes up, maybe over and side to side. So coming to the left and again that right hand can stay supported on the chair or the bottom hands can hover and reach away from the top arm depending on how much support you like on the chair. Soften where there's any hardness. Let's take two more either side. Take breaks whenever you need to, otherwise more or less two more breaths. Last one. all the way back to center. Hands resting on the arms of your chair, the tops of your legs. Let's take a few shoulder rolls there. Inhaling up towards the ears, exhaling down. Option to allow those hands to dangle next to you. And then when you're ready, We'll rest and take them around in the opposite direction. Paying attention to that inhale, infusing where those sensations arise with that inhale. Two more. And then when you're ready, coming back. 
back to center, keeping those arms dangling down if they're not already, broaden through the collarbones, chin tucks a little as if the back of the neck gets a little longer. This is the inhale on the exhale, we're gonna reach down with those right fingertips, inhaling up to center and exhaling down. Let the inhale draw you up as you fill up with breath. Two more, either side. And again, using that inhale to infuse you with energy. Coming all the way up, hands resting down on the legs. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, slide forward a little or a lot as we come into seated cat and cow. Now on the inhale again, we're filling up now through the heart space with air, with energy. So on the inhale, as the heart opens and we bring the hands back, lifting the chin maybe, really drawing energy into the chest and heart space as well. And on that exhale, as the fingertips come forward, pushing the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. The entire inhale, filling up, exhale, let it out, let it settle. Now we're not pushing or forcing the breath, allowing it to be that steady breath we created right in the middle. It might feel a little different now. Mm-hmm. If you want to add on with the arms, on the inhale, let's sweep those arms wide and back. And on the exhale, fingertips come towards each other as we extend the arms. Inhaling and exhaling. On that inhale, if you're lifting the chin, please extend through the back of the neck. Exhaling, chin can drop softly. And let's take two more here. Inhale, filling with air. And on that exhale, as the belly draws in and we scoop the belly in, we push the air out. And then coming all the way back up to center, any amount of um, wiggling, any intuitive movements, then go ahead. Be a big, beautiful breath in and exhale it out. Nicely done, settling down. And then from here, coming into a twist, we'll be twisting to the left to start with. So rooting to rise, this is the inhale. On the exhale, right hand forward, left back as we twist to the left side, maybe even looking over that left shoulder. And the option is here to draw the arms in as well. So we reach the left hand forward on the inhale. On the exhale as we twist, elbow bends and we draw that elbow back behind us any amount, glancing to the left. Inhaling, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. And we switch places, left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. Now that hand can be up towards shoulder height, can be rib height, it can be a little further down. It's going to look different for each of us. Make sure that the lower body is steady and the twist is coming through the upper body. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to keep moving in this flow. Option to draw the elbow back. Stay for three breaths infusing your body with that energy going to any places that feel stuck softening on the exhale anywhere that feels hardened stay for the last exhale and then when you're ready coming all the way back to center big beautiful breath in exhale it out nice and slow Nicely done. 
And then we're going to come to the other side, twisting to the right. Hands resting to start with, rooting to rise, with that infusing of energy. And on that exhale, we're going to be twisting to the right side. Gaze can come to the right or even over that right shoulder. Now pushing into twists, allowing the hands to glide up and down the legs. Or if you want to add on, the right arm reaches forward as the left shoulder comes back to get that reach on the exhale. We bend the right elbow, take it to the right and maybe back behind it. And again, that hand can be shoulder height or hip height or anywhere in between. More isn't better here. Please rest when you need to. Inhaling, infusing the shape, the moment with your breath. Option to keep flowing, option to take the elbow back and stay three breaths, filling up with energy. Gazing over that shoulder or eyes closed, last breath. And then on the inhale, we're coming back to center. Roll one shoulder forward and then the other. And then we'll take it back in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. And then from here, we're going to be turning to the right side of our chair. So depending on the chair length and the length of your limbs, you might want to come forward a little so you feel a little bit more stable in the legs. Feet are comfortable distance apart still. Taking hold of the back of your chair with the right hand so you're supported. Rooting to rise and just getting used to being here. From here, we're going to take our seat off towards the front of the chair so that left sit bone is really off the side of the chair. And simply just by being here, we're having to do a whole lot in the core to hold the left side up rather than dropping it down. And then when you're ready, option to take the left leg back, toes tucked or untucked here. Keep the knee a little forward to start with. And then a few cat and cows through your spine. So flexing and extending, and then coming to a place where the pelvis feels neutral. Shoulders above the hips, great place to stay right here. Making sure that you have support from that right hand. Keeping the shoulders over the hips, the option here is to extend that left leg back, opening up through the hip flexor. Making sure that that left hip is facing forward, so we're not opening it out here. So the thigh is facing forward, not out to the side. Again, toes tucked, if they're untucked, you can put some softness underneath there. And here we are in a lunge. Rooting to rise, inhaling, infusing every cell of your body with that air. On the exhale, letting that energy settle. Hands coming to the hips, drawing that hip down, rolling the shoulder back and down. And this is a great place to stay right here. If you're getting a little shaky in the back leg, please do a little less. Just bring the knee a little more forward. We're trying to stay here in a place that's sustainable and comfortable for your body. Option to stay here or open up the left palm. Fingertips lift towards the shoulder on the inhale. Exhale, taking that down. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay there or move from the shoulders. We've already been here. And with that right hand holding onto the chair, option to take the left arm up and over. Spine is neutral here. And shoulders are over the hips. So we're not coming forward. And we're not overarching and coming back. 
Let's take two more. Finding that length from that left knee all the way up through the side of the body, through the waist, the ribs, into the armpit, the fingertips. And we're going to take that right toe, that left hand all the way back, sorry, and draw the left leg forward. Take a breath. Exhale, let it settle. And then we'll slide back onto the chair. Take as much time as you need to allow yourself to let go of any tightness, any tension. And then we're coming round to the front of the chair and over to the left. And again, readjusting yourself so you feel stable, maybe coming forward on that chair so your feet feel connected down to the earth. Head, heart, and hips all balanced over one another and that left hand this time is taking this back of the chair in your own way, a way that feels stable for you. Settle the breath. We're still infusing ourselves with energy. On that inhale, letting that energy settle on the exhale. And then if you want to, taking the right sit bone this time off towards the front of the chair. So if you're finding your hip drops, then lifting those hips or drawing the hip down so it's even across the pelvis. And this may be enough for you right here. Breathing, feeling stable. If you want to add on, you're going to take that right knee down, toes tucked or of course untucked. Bring the knee forward a little. And then from here, Let's take some extension and flexions through the spine. And then we're going to come to a place where the pelvis feels neutral and the shoulders are over the hips. You can stay here. If it's there for you, option to slide that right foot back a little as long as the pelvis stays neutral. And again, the shoulders are over the hips. Steady breaths. Right hand can stay on the hip or that palm can turn out. From the elbow, inhaling up towards the shoulder, exhaling down, or the option is to move from the shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. And we're finding length through the right side this time, from the right knee all the way through the side body, all the way through the crown of the head, the fingertips, Let's take three more. Places are tired. Take the breath there. If you need to rest, please do. Last one in your own rhythm. And when you're ready, the right hand comes back, supporting the right leg as it comes forward. And we'll slide and re uh, come back to the chair fully. Take a few breaths there. And when you're ready, coming all the way back to center. A big breath in. And exhaling it out nice and slow. Another couple of breaths just like that. Nicely done. I'm going to use some of that um, wider leg stance as we come into Warrior Two from here. So, sitting on your chair, sitting away from the back of your chair if that feels stable to you. And we're going to heel toe or offer that right leg out to the right side. So, now that our legs are in external rotation. Right toes facing the um, right side of the room and knee over ankle. Great place to stay right here. I encourage you to stay here if this feels really stable for you. Depending on the length of your bones and the height of your chair, 
option to slide the left sit bone off the chair only if the right foot can still connect down to the floor. Now, the proportions of this chair combined with the length of my bones, this works for me, but really tune into what feels good to you. If this does not feel stable, then come back to sitting on the chair. There isn't a wrong way to do this. There are lots of bus stops along the way. External rotation. Option to stay here. And we can take everything coming into warrior two from this place. And that's where we're going to come to. If you want to add on, that left leg can extend forward. Nice bend in that knee or towards straight, connecting the whole foot down, turning the toes in about five or 10 degrees, just a little bit. So we've got that slight internal rotation of the left hip. That just stops any kind of tension through the inner groin. Option to stay here. Option to draw that left foot back as far as feels comfortable for you to come more or less in line with that right leg. Again, a bent left knee or straight, pushing through the outer edge of the left foot. Toes turned in just a little, so if you look back, the heel is slightly turned out. Again, bent knee, you can be sitting more on the chair, anything that feels really comfortable here. Just because this is the last bus stop doesn't mean it's the best bus stop for your body. Trying to get out of our heads that um, it has to look a particular way. The best way to do yoga is to tune into what you need and adjust the, the shape for your body, not trying to adjust your body into the shape. Left shoulder rolls open, however the legs are set up. So the heart is facing forward. Option to stay here, hands down. Option to have your hands on your hips, extending up through the crown of the head. Great place to be, right here. Option to extend the arms out. Fingers, shoulder height, rolling the shoulders back and down, reaching the fingertips away for you, but drawing the shoulder blades in towards each other so we get this opening through the heart. Here is full warrior two. And there are, of course, lots of bus stops along the way. So take what it is that you need. Gaze can come forward over those right fingertips. And we breathe three breaths in stillness and we'll take this into movement. Infuse any part of you that feels like you could do with that energy. Take it to particular locations in your body. Stay for the last exhale and the option here is if it's not already, left hand comes down and then the right hand reaches up. We've been here through the sideline of the body. That's the inhale, exhale, coming back to warrior two. Arms inhaling and exhaling, finding that length through the side of the body. Mm-hmm. And we'll take two more. Last one here. Coming back to warrior two. Hands come down. If that left leg is um, extended, we're going to start to heel toe, bring it in. If your left sit bone is off the chair, coming back to the chair. And then when you're ready, drawing the legs back into parallel. Big breath in. Exhale it out, settling in and settling down. Take as much time as you need before you come to the other side. Left leg comes out. So we've got a slight external rotation here, noticing how that feels in your body. 
great place to stay right here and everything we're going to be doing can be done from this place. Depending on what feels comfortable in your body, that right sit bone can come off the chair. Left whole thigh and sit bone is completely supported as long as that left foot feels like it's connected and supported. Shoulders above the hips, great place to stay. And you can of course use the chair for support. Option to stay here. Option to extend the right leg out in front of you any amount. Heel is slightly turned out, toes slightly turned in, just so we don't um, open up any tension through the inner groin. Great place to stay here. And you can always try something and then if it doesn't feel right, come back to a previous modification. And then the option is here to extend that right leg back behind you. Heel turns out just slightly, toes turned in. Nice bend in that back knee or pushing through a straighter right leg. Right shoulder rolls back so the heart is facing forward. Now as you're here, if you're noticing tugging or pulling in particular areas of your body that is not comfortable for you, you feel like you're pushing past your breath, past your capacity, please do a little less. Option to stay here, hands can rest on the hips. Option to extend one or both arms out, reaching with the fingertips, so there's energy here. Rolling the shoulders back and down and drawing the shoulder blades in towards each other. So we've got this broadness across the chest. Warrior two. Wherever, whichever modification you have. Gaze coming over those left fingertips. We've got three breaths here. Inhale, infuse your body. As the air comes down into your lungs, spread it through the fingertips, down through the soles of your feet, up through the crown of your head. We've got one last breath here and you can stay or when you're ready, dancing warrior two. Right hand comes down, left arm comes up and we get that length through the side of the body. Exhale, coming down. Moving at your own pace, your expression, nobody else's. Rest when you need to or three more just like this. Last one. Coming all the way back to worry two. When you're ready, hands come down. Drawing that left leg in. Oh, sorry, right leg in. If the right sit bone is off the chair, we'll sit back onto the chair. And when you're ready, drawing the legs back to parallel washing the knees side to side, relieving any tension through the outside of those hips and the inside of the groin. Coming back to stillness, softening the gaze or closing the eyes, and take that breath in, fill up. Exhale it out and take another few breaths like that. On the inhale, imagine getting um, that energy bigger and brighter as if it's radiating out from you. And on the exhale, let that settle. Let's take two more. After that last exhale, stay for as long as you need or float the eyes open if they were closed. And those of you who want to, I'll meet you down on the earth, on our backs. Take everything you need for relaxation at the end, and I'll meet you down there. Here we are, down on the earth, taking it all the way down to our back. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And when you're down there, maybe consider picking your hips up and sending your hips a little closer towards your feet, just lengthening through, especially the lower back and the waistline. 
and then take a few moments here softening the eyes or closing the eyes and allow yourself to feel that earth underneath you allow the body to start to sink down with gravity into that support and then take your awareness to your feet spread the toes nice and wide push down just gently evenly through the feet and then take your awareness to your back body any adjustments you need to even anything up that feels good please take that now chin is tucked slightly so the back of the neck is long and then from here we start to establish that breath again inhaling filling up exhaling letting that energy settle We'll take the palms next to the hips as wide as feels comfortable in your shoulders. And then on the inhale, we'll take the fingertips up towards the sky above you, maybe even overhead a little. On the exhale, taking the fingertips back down to the earth. So we're mimicking the breath by lifting the arms and taking the fingertips down. And we'll take another few of those. Always adjusting the width of the arms to accommodate what feels good in your shoulders. Three more. Inhaling, filling up as if from a glass from the bottom upwards. And one more here. And then we'll take those hands down and leave them there, palms facing down here. And the next inhale, we're pushing into the feet evenly, lifting the hips, maybe just hovering them and exhaling, taking the hips down. Start nice and small. Inhaling, pushing through the feet, through the shoulders, through the arms, all the way down to the fingers as we lift the, lift the hips. Exhale, taking it down. Inhaling and exhaling. We're not concerned about the height here. What we want is the steadiness of movement, that filling of the breath, as if we're opening up the front body to that energy we're bringing in. And we've got one more here. Mm -hmm. All the way down. Now you can either do arms or legs or lifting the pelvis or we're going to do those both together so on the inhale pushing through the feet lifting the hips as the arms lift and on the exhale settling the hands and the hips all the way back down inhaling lifting filling exhaling back down and again we're not concerned about the size of the movement here what we want is the smoothness of the breath, that infusing of energy. If there's anywhere in your body, three more, anywhere in your body that feels like it's a little stagnant, please take the breath there. Rest whenever you need to or two more. Inhaling and exhaling again. This is not about the size of the movement. all the way down knees in towards each other heels out and take a couple of breaths there and when you're ready knees pot and then we'll take one and then the opposite knee in towards you give yourself a little rock and roll from side to side center we'll take the knees out towards the armpits hands on either knee you can even rest your elbows down on the earth depending on your the length of bones and what suits 
you and your body opening up through the groin, which we've already done a little bit of as uh, when we were seated. Great place to stay here. Option to take the feet up towards the sky, happy baby, taking the back of the thighs, outer shins, or even the outer feet. Feet are flexed, so those ankles are flexed there, spreading through the toes and breathing, breathing into where you feel this. If you're curling the tailbone up towards the ceiling a lot, consider drawing the flat of your back and the back of your pelvis down so the tailbone um, connects downwards instead of curling up. So we really imprint the lower back into the mat and the back of the pelvis. We've got a couple of breaths here. Staying there, or taking the heels down, and then drawing the knees in once again, giving yourself a little hug, rock and roll side to side. Open up through the arms, taking the feet down, and picking up the hips, shifting to the right, extending the left leg long, the right knee comes in, up, and over, connecting that right shoulder downwards. And the gaze can look over that right shoulder if that feels good to you. Play with where you like that right knee. And the more you adjust it, the more you'll get to know what feels like a good place for your body. And we take some nice full breaths here. Still that infusing of energy on the inhale. And letting it settle on the exhale. If there's a lot of sensation in particular areas, especially in the hip area, please take the breath there like a laser pointer. That's your inhale on the exhale. Let the breath infuse and soften that area. When you're ready, gaze comes to center and the knee comes to center. Right foot down, left foot joins it. Take the pelvis back into center and then when you're ready, over to the left. Extending the right leg and the left knee comes in, up and over into a supine twist. Left shoulder's grounded. And we're breathing, infusing any areas of sensation, tightness with that energy, the energy of the breath, energy of your awareness. Another couple of breaths here. When you're ready, the gaze and the knee comes to center, left foot down, right foot down, shifting everything back to center. Take the knees wide here and just wash the knees side to side. Coming back to center when you're ready. Any intuitive movements or shapes that um, you want to come to before you find yourself in your relaxation, however that looks. Of course, there's not a particular way or place you need to be. You can be seated, curled onto one or the other side. You can be on your back, on your belly. You can also transfer yourself to a place more comfortable, maybe a reclined chair or a bed. And settle in and settle down here. So taking your time, 
any extra layers, pillows, a bolster or um, pillow underneath your knees or the back of your thighs. And when you're settled, if you haven't already, soften your gaze or close your eyes. And drift your awareness to the support underneath you, making any last little adjustments for your own comfort. And then allow your bones to sink deeper as you release any tension through your joints. Relaxing the inner body and any tension within it. Loosening the muscles as they lengthen and soften. The expression on your face becomes neutral and soft. And then allowing your skin to start to let go. As you start to let your body rest, taking your awareness into your heart center, and that doesn't necessarily mean the very center of your physical heart, but where you would consider your heart center to be, that doesn't have to make sense. Imagine a little seed of whatever color light you chose, right in the center of your heart. And with every inhale, imagine you're fanning that ember, and on the inhale it glows brighter and bigger. And then on the exhale, it stays just in that brighter, bigger place. And every inhale, it gets bigger and brighter as it starts to come from a seed and starts to expand into the size of a walnut and then an orange. Infusing your heart space with that energy, fanned by that soft breath, allowing that light to, in your own time, start to fill your torso. Your shoulders as the light runs down through your arms to the tips of your fingertips and thumbs. You might even feel a tingling or a lightening sensation in your arms. Allow that light to grow bigger, more vital down into your pelvis and down through your legs, shooting down through to the tips of your toes. Imagine it, sense it, and feel it. Whatever color it was that you chose, getting bigger and brighter. Up through the shoulders, neck and throat. Filling your head. Inside and out. Spilling into and around your skin. Until you are glowing with that vital energy. 
take a moment to notice if there are particular areas of your body where it glows not so bright. And take some breaths there, infusing those parts of your body with your breath, your intention and attention. Imagine, sense and feel filling those places with brightness, vital energy. You might even feel that buzzing, humming, tingling sensation all over your body or in particular areas. There's no way of doing this wrong. Where our attention goes, energy flows. Allowing your attention to be held by your whole being here. As if you were shining like a beacon, could even shine out into the room around you, the air around you, infusing that too with your vital energy, shining it out because it's that bright, that big. And notice how that feels to shine so bright, to be so full and encased with energy. the sensation of that brighter self to be taken like a snapshot in your mind, the feeling of it, the sensations, the image if you have an image color. And then when you're ready, allow the feeling of energy to stay, for the glow to soften, and being absorbed back into your inner body, drawing back up from your fingertips and toes and the crown of your head back into and see that your heart bit by bit, moment by moment. Knowing that that is always within you, like a fountain you can tap into at any time, that energy within you, without moving a muscle, simply notice how you feel here after your practice, focused on increasing your energy levels. Notice your mind, your emotions, your body, how everything's feeling. And then notice in your own time, after you've cataloged any shifts, notice your breath, your soft breath coming in and out. On the inhale, take a little deeper breath in. On the exhale, sigh, long and slow. And then in your own time, either staying as you are or bringing awakening movements into your body in your own way. And there's no wrong way of awakening your body, taking your time. And staying just as you are or finding yourself in a place that you would like to finish your practice today. As we settle into that support underneath us and rise from there, 
the inhale, always infusing us with energy. The exhale, letting it go and settle. When you're ready, hands may come to a natural gesture of closing, whatever that means for you. Take a breath in on the exhale, tuck the chin down towards the chest. Soften the gaze or close the eyes. And take a moment to find that seed within you, within that heart space. And take some moment to allow it to get bigger and brighter. Take that seed out into your day, share it with the people around you. And notice that energy within you, which is a fountain waiting to be expanded, to be tapped into, knowing it's within, from my heart to yours, namaste.